What's up, Madden players? Madden Talk 24-7 here with a tutorial on how to transfer your players over from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. The first step you have to do is go to Madden Ultimate Team Mode on the Xbox One, and it will give you a it will give you a bunch of captains to choose. You can choose any captain. It's not going to have any bearing or anything. Then it will give you a shitty starter pack that starter pack is horrible you really don't want any of those players now the next step you have to do is you have to play the solo challenge there is no work around you have to complete the solo challenge so that's the next step we're gonna have to do now this solo challenge is very very quick the quarter is only two minute quarters so it's not really that hard to complete but the catch is we're not going to play that game right after the coin toss is over. We're going to pause the game and then hit quick game. Now, this still counts as completing the solo challenge. You do not have to complete the game. If you do want to play that game, I'm not going to stop you. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you, you do not have to complete that game. So after that game is over, it will give you four players, a Calvin Johnson, a Kurt Warner, a Drew Brees, and an Adrian Peterson. So you can send those players to your current roster. You can send them to your reserves and then the next step is all you have to do is hit the right analog stick down once you send those players off to your roster or to your reserves that's all you have to do is hit the right analog stick down and a prompt will pop up and it will ask you if you want to do the transfer now now why I ask you that is because you can only transfer one time so once you transfer your players over from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox one your players values on the Xbox 360 will be zero you will still have those cards, but they will have no value on the Xbox 360. So if you complete the transfer, make sure that you are not trying to trade on the Xbox 360. Now on the Xbox One, they will still have values. They will still be your normal cards. But the reason they do this is just so you can't have duplicate cards or something like that. And you have to have the same gamer tag. So if you if you're trying to if you made a new profile on the Xbox One, you will not be able to complete that transfer. That that transfer. So just keep that in mind. And you can only transfer one time per gamer tag. So just keep that in mind also. But as you saw, once you transfer, it's it's instant and now all my players from the xbox 360 are now over here to the xbox one they're normal cards they have value you can trade them and now that you can send them to your current roster and there you go it's really that simple but keep those things in mind once you complete the transfer you will still have the cards on your 360 but they will not have any trade value but once you complete the transfer they will have trade value on the xbox one keep that in mind have to have the same game with to complete the transfer and you can only transfer one time so just keep all those things in mind i hope this tutorial helped you out and uh i hope it helps you out i mean it's a very simple very easy to do if you like this tutorial check out my other madden 25 videos man i have videos on the 360 and now I'm making them on xbox one so be sure to check those out thanks for watching subscribe like and comment Thanks for watching.